Hey Bass Geek here, and we're going to talk about summer topwater baits and some new ways to organize your terminal tackle. Hey guys, first thing I want to give a big shout out to, and I hope I don't butcher this name for you, brother, but check out the shirt. This was sent by Aurelia Fishing. He's out of Canada, got a good channel, does some winter fishing, some ice fishing, uh, just all different kinds of species, bass pike, musky, trout, whatever he can get his hands on up there. He's a pretty cool guy. I've watched his channel for a long time. Make sure you go check him out. There'll be a link to his channel in the description. Thanks for the cool shirt, man. <laughs> I've got to get me one made like this. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Uh, I always say, guys, I spend money on stuff like this all the time, so I never spend money on clothes. My wife constantly, constantly raises, you know, what with me. Because, man, I've got brand boxes of brand new baits and i've got you know clothes with holes and i mean just that i've had for 15 years so the, you know if you want to know how i have money to buy all this stuff i don't buy anything else nothing i don't buy nothing else i mean i don't buy nothing for me that's how i got the money to buy this stuff because i'm like i'll wear any shirt but i won't necessarily fish any bait i, I know anyway all right so guys what today's video is going to be about is you know it's summertime i got some top water stuff and this really is geared you know i got my little boat it's ready right now there's a very good bite on the top secret lake p that's going on so and i get the little boat out on it but my you know the inaugural voyage for the little boat that lake might have a little distance to go and I don't want to end up having to paddle back if my batteries are dead. So give me a little bit of time. But I will tell you this, some of the smaller lakes that I have around here, and this is kind of what this is about, do have some grass in them. So you guys will know that if you've watched my channel for very long, you know, I don't, I don't have a lot of lakes with grass around me, but a couple of these small lakes do. So I'm going to kind of be going through the learning process of breaking down some grass you know, I've, I've fished grass before, but I'm not really confident and comfortable breaking down grass. So you guys are going to probably help teach me how to find fish, how to find bass in the grass. And uh, I'm going to take you along with me as I learn to fish new styles of cover. But all that being said, this is kind of what this revolves around. You know, I told you for you guys that seen the small boat kind of build out, one of the things that I didn't want to have to do is go get baits out of my boat, put them into my pond hopping bag. And you know, one of the other things I wanted to do this summer, but you guys already have I've complained enough about the hours this summer. Uh, you know, I just haven't got to do a lot of creek and small stream fishing for you guys and, and pond fishing. Now, one of the bad things about where I live at, there's just not any ponds, guys. I, I live in the mountains. And I mean, unless you're at the bottom of the mountain in a creek, you're on the slope of a mountain where I live. It's pretty much what it is. So ponds around me, uh, the few ponds that there are, people generally build themselves and they don't tell you about. And I'd love to see some of those YouTubers who love to sneak in the ponds because they'd get their heads blown off where I live at. You trespass up here, you will get shot, and then the police get caught. It ain't the other way around where I'm from. So anyway, all that being said, this is kind of what this, this is about. So there's some of this stuff, of course, I'm gonna take with me on my boat, but a lot of it's got to do was something that I've always wanted to do and get better at, and I've not had that much of an opportunity to do it. So let's get started with the unboxing. So let's start with the very first thing. To have the tackle, I have to have something to put it in. Since I wanted to use this as bo you know, both on my small boat and as a pond hopper bag, 
I seen uh, Beyond Bounds, Lou from Beyond Bounds Fishing actually talk about this particular bag. He said he used it as his co-angler bag on the BFLs. Now, this bag is a backpack. You know, it's not the best bag, you know, I'm sure, but it, it's cheap. So the very first thing, I got it from Bass Pro Shops. You can see, you know, I'm not gonna go into detail because you literally just see me get out of pl get the plastic out of it. You go to Lou's channel, check out his review. You know, he really goes in depth, but uh, you can get quite a few boxes in this. And so that's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, you know, I'm gonna dump me a bunch of boxes in here. Hopefully everything fits the way I want. I haven't even tried to fit what I want to fit into it yet. But uh, this is gonna be my pond hopping and my boat bag that I take with me uh, on the little boat. Now I'm gonna show you some of the summer baits that I'm gonna fill it with. So I got an order from Tackle Freaks. Guys, uh, as always, in the description below, anything you see here, there are links down there. It, they are affiliate links. They do help the channel. They help me, you know, go on these fishing trips. They help me buy baits. They help me do giveaways. They help me, you know, keep the channel running. You know, I don't make money off of it. I just dump it all right back into the channel. I just ordered another GoPro the other day. Uh, because anybody that works with them a whole lot knows that GoPros uh, are expensive and for the most part work, but a lot of times they just stop. So, you know, is what it is right there. Uh, but I was out on the water and I was going to film this video out on the water, this unboxing, and it came a really good rainstorm. And this is what's left of the box. So. The stuff is actually out of the box, but I got this order from Tackle Freaks. Make sure you go check out Tackle Freaks. Uh, I do have affiliate links to them, and anything that they have will be linked in the description below. So let's talk with the very first thing. Well, let's, let's cover some other stuff right now. Some of the stuff that I wanted, and I wanted to try these, on top secret lake p i'm going fishing tomorrow and this particular bait yeah is going with me now these are the cane walkers by berkeley they're very much the same style uh these are the 125s they're very much the same style uh as like the shower blows but they walk and they pop but they really stay in place. It's, it's amazing until you get out there and you throw one. These things are incredible to see. And they really call fish up from the depths. I uh, got me three different versions of that. You'll notice this is, uh, I don't know what color they call this. Olive shad. But I'll tell you, it kind of reminds me of the head and spook that I'm using all the time on that lake. You know, it's kind of that translucent Tennessee shad color. Uh, I've got me another one here, and it's a little translucent, a little more flash. Uh, they call it Perfect Ghost. And then I've got one that is the Ghost White. Throw those two on little cloudier days. Now, this is a bait that I picked up. I think I've already showed you guys this. And in my opinion, it's one of the best poppers on the market because this sucker walks with absolutely, I mean, you don't even have to try. And the great thing about it is it will sit still and it's a good size. It's got a good, you know, you can bloop it. You can, you know, spit it. It's a really, really good walking popper. And this is from Storm. It's from Arashi. This is the cover pop. And I picked up three different colors. I've already got one color. You know, gotta always have a chrome. These are the two colors that I'm really excited about. This is the bluegill. This color is hard to find when they're sold out. But this color right here on my lake is really, I think, going to be what shines. And this is the green gill. And again, very translucent. And the clear water that I fish, I think that's going to be a big player. 
Now, that stuff too will be really good over that just submergent grass in these lakes. That grass where, you know, it's not grown all the way up and matted over. So that stuff with those trebles are going to be perfect for that sort of, you know, grassy style lakes. So, you know, you guys tell me if maybe my thinking is wrong. Now, I picked up a few other things that I love to throw, and I think these are going to shine a lot around that kind of submergent, maybe a little little thicker, not quite matted, but uh, that same style of grass. Now, I love to throw a buzz bait where I'm at. The water's super clear. You don't get a lot of situations where they're chasing that style of bait, but in the grass, they like to hear it coming, and they wait for it to get there, and they you know, they fire up and nail it. So I picked me up some of the Strike King Toad Buzz. These are the 3 8 ounce. I don't know what color that is right there, but, you know, kind of a blue glimmer toad. Uh, somehow I accidentally managed to pick up two of these. This is kind of a black-white swirl. And good old pearl white. When it comes to buzz baits, most of the time, you know, I'm going white, black, you know, maybe something with a little bit of blue in it. Uh, generally, that's what I've had most of my success on. Now, for what you've really been waiting for, and this is what I can't wait to really get into doing. So I'm hoping on, I, there's a couple of grass lakes, maybe three, they're really small lakes, but I'm really hoping that this bite is going to be something that happens on these lakes so i'm going to start with these these are the tickles and for some reason i managed to pick up three in this color so let's hope this color is the color but this is the uh, watermelon so these are the sprinkers they're the normal size ones i know they make some smaller ones again there's the watermelon uh, this is the old frog Again, a really good looking color there. Always got to get a black. Old black shore, I guess. Then you, you can't go wrong with a white. Pearl white. Now, I didn't get all the frogs that I wanted. And I've got some more ordered with some other companies. And I'll show you those as they come in. But uh, I did pick up a Booyah. This is a pad crasher. Um, you know, and again, I don't pay a whole lot of, to the color on top. It, the color on bottom really is like a white on this frog. And, you know, the legs, they got some basically purple, black, and white in them. Uh, got me a popping frog. This is from Spro. This is the Dean Rojas bronze eye popper. Uh, that's the natural green. And then I've got me some regular bronze eye frogs. These are the 65s. Again, tell me good size, bad size. I, I think that's a pretty, pretty average size right there. Good old white. Albino is what they call it. Uh, this color I'm excited about. I'm actually excited about throwing this color on even Top Secret Lake P around the trees right now because you can skip this bait in and you can walk it out real fast. But this is green pumpkin. I had one of these a couple years ago and boy, would they come up out of the out of the trees. This is a little more brown, uh, watermelon red. And like I said, those are all the bronze eye 65s. So tell me what you think about those selections so far. Uh, have I done all right in getting started with my grassy frog fishing topwater selections? Let me know in the comments and questions below what you guys would go straight for. What's your go-to? You, if you've been around the channel for any any time at all, you'll know that I've worked for a long time with a company called OptiCast. Now OptiCast makes something 
you'll see it on the front of my boat a lot of times. It's the green thing on a ram mount. And a lot of you guys ask me, what's the green thing? Well, the green thing is a buoy. They make a pro buoy called the uh, OptiCast Pro buoy. And the great thing about this buoy is as soon as, you know, the first time I ever seen it, I went crazy because the thing of it is, is I had lost a bunch of buoys that year because, you know, the old orange buoys, man, they just wear out. And eventually either the line breaks or they sink to the bottom. They, they get holes in them, they sink. Man, these things are filled with foam. So I'm a huge fan of that, but that's not the only thing they make. They've got a ton of other products on their website. And one of the products that they actually have, I'm not gonna open up all these. They sell them individually, but this, they sell general tungsten weights. Any weight you can imagine. And so, of course, I went and loaded up on some weights. So again, I won't have to pull things out of my big boat to my little boat. So I've got me, you know, a few of the weights that I'm going to be using. You know, a couple of different uh, bullet style weights, flipping weights, some drop shot weights, you know, the long cylindrical ones for grass. So that's what I really picked up here. Won't go through all them, but you can literally order them one weight at a time if you want. And they're tungsten, guys. I'm a huge fan of tungsten. This is something that I'm super stoked about. And it's something that they're going to let me show you, but it's still kind of in the testing phase. So as soon as they come out, as soon as they're official, I'll definitely let you know. But this is how I'm going to organize my terminal tackle on my hooks. I'm not going to carry that much stuff. I'm going to really break it down and just kind of put it in general. And OptiCast is working right now on a tungsten ammo box. And what's so cool about this box is that you just pop it open right there. And when you pop it open, you've got these awesome little doors. So you can put any size, you know, you've got all kinds of hooks. So you can put about anything you want in this. But you can put about anything you want. It's a lot of different sizes. They've got a finesse box and they've got a, a heavyweight box that they'll have coming that'll have a little more room. But I did pick up two of these. So that I could put enough stuff in them to do what I wanted to do. They're, you know, they're a good size to carry in a backpack. But I am, I really like these guys. I love, love, like I said, the little compartments, the little doors. To be able to go in there and pop those bad boys open. I mean, guys, you can't tell me that ain't just cool. So really like this. They're light. I can't wait till they get them out on the market for you guys. But you know we'll do something special when they come out. What else I really like, I haven't went and put these on yet, but they actually have sticker labels to go on the outside of the doors, man. You can order these so you can label exactly, so you know exactly what you have in each one. You actually have the size and what it is. So that is... That is about as cool as it gets, man. So again, the tungsten ammo boxes from OptiCast, guys. Make sure you go check them out. Holds up to 300 pieces, 48 individual ammo bins, 24 large, 24 small. Fishoptocast.com. Again, there'll be a link in the description down there so you guys can go bug them and tell them how bad you want one of those. Um, you know, I've talked to my buddy, and of course, for you guys that don't know, we will be doing, I hope, I hope, if I can get everything together, we're growing so fast, right now it's insane,
But if I get everything together, I'm going to do a 25,000 subscriber giveaway. And of course, Opticast will be involved. So we'll see what they toss in. Tell them this is what you want. <laughs> sorry, Andrew. Sorry. But guys, that is literally about it. Uh, this right here is just some, some stickers and stuff, some boat carpet decals. Uh, you know, I've showed you the, the, the weights, but I'm telling you guys, go check out the general tungsten weights from Opticast. You're not going to get a better weight. They're smooth as silk inside. You're not going to fray your line. They're quality weights, guys. Go check them out. I just want to remind you guys in the description of every single video that I've done for the past two, three weeks, there are links to the description of most, if not all, the equipment I use. I'm even putting links in there for the camera equipment that I use now. So make sure you're going down there. If you're going to go out and buy some of this stuff, follow those links, at least help the channel out. I'm not getting rich off of it. Trust me, I get like 1% or something. It's nothing. Uh, but it does help out some. So if you're going to buy it anyway, go check it out and uh, see what you can get. Make sure you go check out Tackle Freaks. Make sure you go check out Opticast. They got a lot of good stuff. I mean, I'd have to do a whole thing on them, uh, especially the Pro Buoy system. Guys, if you're learning to do the offshore stuff, you want to get your uh, lineups right, I've got a great video for that. I'll put that up here somewhere, but just make sure you're going out and uh, checking that stuff out for me. Anyway, I hope you like this. And as always, questions and comments in the comment section below. You know, I love to talk about fishing with you. Tell me what some of your favorite grass baits are and how they progress through the season from early till mat till fall and winter. Tell me what you think. Tell me what, so tell me what you generally use and, and, and tell me about that progression in those grass lakes. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so you're getting the notifications when these videos come out. And you guys rock.